be out of Maine. Bye, Maine. Then I think for like literally two seconds we're in New Hampshire. And then I'll be in, what's it called? The Piscuit. That's the rubber bridge. So, and then we'll be into New Hampshire for a little bit. And then Massachusetts. Hi, Shaveri Moss. <laughs> and then we will be in Connecticut forever. And then we will be in New York. Bye. Long time. Try it. So cute to come home to that message. Look, I just met it. Here's the Green Farm. I've never actually been here before, so I I kind of made a little pit stop. Some tomatoes, a little garden, I guess. Some flowers. The old tractor. And that's a really old tractor. Look at that one. <laughs> Arden's gonna start gardening. Oh, there's pumpkins! Look, I found a pumpkin! Pumpkin! A pumpkin! Oh my god, how cute is that? Ready? Okay, do a cartwheel. Whoa! Amazing! Okay, you... <laughs> awesome! Okay. So this is our last day in Maine. That's a sad, sad, sad face. I don't think I'm gonna leave tomorrow till about four though. Anyway, so I can drive at night again. I kind of like doing that. I'm in some major sunshine right now. It is beautiful here. I am loving the idea of being outside and not dripping in sweat like I have been in New York. We're gonna go to a friend's house today that I have up here who has three girls and she's gonna set up a bouncy house. So those girls are gonna have a freaking wicked good time. But. I don't know, uh, you know, this whole small town thing, it is pretty neat. I feel like, you know, you go everywhere and you see people, I see people, and I don't, you know, I don't even live here anymore. And, you know, if you don't stop and talk, you know that everyone's analyzing one another, and they're going to go home and say, oh, I saw, you know, Leland's girls, or, uh, you know, wow, that girl gained some weight, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so, it's pretty neat, everyone's kind of connected, but I mean, you can come outside in your underwear, and you don't see, no one would even know. You know, because there's no neighbors close enough, but it's pretty neat. It's a lot different. I like it, though. I do like it. I feel like I'm a country girl at heart. To paint. This old truck. <laughs> Quarters. Look yeah. that bike. It's awesome. Just do something with it. Why are there so many license plates? Are they killing people? Yes. Travelers? <laughs> hey guys, we, uh, we're stopping at our first rest stop today. I'm on my way home. I've got 200... Let's see. crap. Focus. 288 miles. Four and a half hours left. I think we've been driving for already an hour and a half, or, or I don't know. I'm tired, got a headache. Um, our car is pretty full. The trunk is just, I had to, fingers crossed, that, you know, actually shut it and get a bunch of snacks in there, some toys, some stuff. I stopped and got my mom a t shirt from her favorite diner up there. I've got a guitar so I can learn to play. Arden's got like a ton of art stuff. She's real pissed off, let me tell you. So we're gonna go in here, probably get some Starbucks and something to eat. I miss my baby. Hated so hard leaving, so hard driving away. Uh, we get to say goodbye to a lot of his family, which is cool, and you know, the drive's been all right so far. A little bit of traffic, but. Arden wants to go to sleep. She is cranky. We have 200 and 
parking lots that you'll be able to read it. 251 miles now, which is four hours. So it is now almost eight o'clock. So we kind of wasted a lot of time at the uh, the thing, uh, the bus stop. Uh, what I was saying before, I don't know if it got me, if it cut off on me, but um, it's Friday the 13th. So happy Friday the 13th, everyone. And I hope there's no weird, like sick, twisted little thing about driving long distances and crashes. Oh, blue shed. Blue shed. Not yet. More old tractors. Wow, look at that one. That's really cool. Very neat. Very cool. So many old tractors. Yeah. This old Ford. Seriously, why don't I? A four-wheeler. I've wanted to go on one forever. But look at that truck. I miss my friends back in New York. So, I'm, you know, I am excited that I will go back and be able to see them. Although, like I said, I do wish I could stay longer. But, you know, everyone's so into mowing lawns here. Everyone takes such pride in it. It's kind of neat. New York, you'll just have some scraggly brown grass and call it a yard. Hi guys. Hi. We just went out. I have gum. Oh, I was gonna and glasses. <laughs> and glasses. And what else? What else are you wearing? We're promoting water safety today. We just went all the way out to the yellow thing that you've seen a thousand times. Can't see. Do you see the yellow thing? Yeah, the yellow thing somewhere out there. Anyway, we went out there in this thing, this tube. I used my arms to get us out there, and we got up to the yellow thing, and then I decided the air, you know what it is, the water's really nice, the, the typical where the water is warmer than the air, so we kind of retreated very quickly. You gotta take it off? No, I can't. Here, hold this for me. Show mommy. <laughs> so, we retreated very quickly. And now I don't know what we're going to do. We had some lunch out here, and we're all pretty tired. We're all rough and spoiled. <laughs> but, la la. 